Hi, I'm Chris Merrill, here with my colleague Jim Jensen. We're with Panasonic Connect, and we've been talking for a while about how do you make it easier to create a high-end production? There's so many things happening, uh, so many changes are going on in our industry and so many different things that people are having to learn. It's really complicated at times to be understand how do you make that high-quality image. One of the things we've re recently released is what we're calling advanced auto framing. And Jim, why don't you tell us a little bit about what we've got here, what we're looking at, yeah. and, and see how that helps us. Yeah, you know, uh, the AWUE160 is our top of the line Platinum Series PTZ. And one of the things that makes that particular PTZ unique is the processing power driving that PTZ. This gives us the ability with a recent announcement we just made to have built in auto framing. So what is really nice about this particular announcement is that this built-in auto framing will be a free firmware update, no cost to the customer, that will be available around January. So we're harnessing the power of the UE160 to capture the subject matter, and we're using the power of our media production suite to drive the framing controls. So when you take advantage of a strong PTZ that's feature rich and the uh, intuitive GUI on our media production suite, you really have a winning combination to really enhance a workflow for an operator. Yeah, that's very cool. Now I'm assuming you've talked about that as built in. So that's not what we're looking here at, at here on this monitor, right? That's That's a different application. Yeah, so what we're seeing here is the uh, UE160 in media production suite with the GUI for the built-in auto tracking. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is the GUI for the built-in auto tracking, and time doesn't allow us to go through all the features, but one of the great things about this is it gives an operator great flexibility because auto, auto framing, the advantage of it is it really uh, focuses on framing composition so that things look natural when you're tracking a person. Okay. I noticed we're actually trying to focus on two different people here. Yes. How does, that's a little bit unique, right? And you've got multiple areas of focus we've got going it on. It is. So in this particular application that we're shown here, we have a couple uh, people. We happen to choose uh, a selection of one person. But if we have a group of people, we can identify each of those people uh, within our shot. And then if we were, to, if they were, one of them was to move, the camera would automatically zoom out to keep both of those individuals within frame. Okay. And, and sometimes you've got a speaker who, I don't know, it's not our situation here, but we yeah. stand up and be pacing across the stage. Yeah, and that that's right. Of, how, do you, how do you deal with that kind of a situation? Yeah, so this is where auto framing really shines because if you're following a speaker, you want that tracking, again, to look natural. You want that headroom to be consistent with the, their movements. So auto framing accomplishes that, all built into the UE160. Very cool. It looks like we've got a, a, a nice level of intelligence built into it that's allowing us to really make it easier. Yeah, we're really taking uh, advantage, again, of the processing power in some advanced body detection as well with the built-in auto tracking. So if I wanted to learn more about this, where do I find that? Yeah, I would go to our website at Panasonic Connect and you will see Media Production Suite and all the various plugins that we offer. Your, our customers will really enjoy checking that out. Excellent. New additions to Media Production Suite.